All right, so today we're going to construct the circumcenter of a triangle. Remember that the definition of circumcenter of a triangle is the point of concurrency for the perpendicular bisectors of each of the sides of the triangle. So really there's only one step um, to worry about, and that's to construct a perpendicular bisector for each side of that triangle. So remember, it's important to remember that each side must get a perpendicular bisector. So let me take my compass out here, and I'm going to choose uh, the horizontal side here as the first side that I'm going to construct my perpendicular bisector. Um, let's change my ink color to red so we can see it. All right. Remember that you should open up your compass to over half the length of the side. Uh, you're going to draw an arc above and below. Flip it, go to the other end point of the side. Don't change the opening of your compass. And again, go above and below. Where those two arcs cross, uh, that are two, is two points that are on that perpendicular bisector. As we can see here, here's the perpendicular bisector. I'll change the color so that way you don't get confused with the arcs there. All right, so um, now we move on to the next side. should clean up your picture afterwards, so that way you don't get too confused with the arcs. So I'm going to delete mine. On yours, you're going to have to erase. I'm going to move on to the next side here. Again, make sure that your compass opens over half. You're going to draw an arc above and below. Go to the other end point of the side and change the opening and again repeat above and below connect those two intersection points and you might want to extend a little further so that it crosses your first line okay so again after each one you're going to want to clean up your picture so that way the arcs don't confuse you Going to the third side now, again, opening up over half, draw an arc above and below. Repeat on the other end point of that side, draw an arc above and below. And then connect those two intersection points. All right, so clean up your picture. And you can see this point here is our circumcenter. So let me draw an arrow. And this is our circumcenter. Um, remember that the circumcenter is equidistant to the three vertices. So in red here, then, this distance should be equal to this one and should be equal to this one. Okay. What that allows us to do is then construct a circle that circumscribes the triangle. So give me just a moment here. I gotta line up. All right. So you can see we got a circle that just goes around the vertices of that triangle. All right, so that ends our lesson today on circumcentric.